welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i am so glad you're here today i am going to pack away all the fall decor yes i know it's not thanksgiving yet but i really want to get it packed away so i can decorate for christmas it is 2020 and i think we're just gonna decorate early this year as you can see i'm starting in the dining room first and I thought I would start here because this is the majority of the decorations. I also thought I would start in here because I'm going to de-decorate a room and then clean and then de-decorate and clean. So I'm going to do my deep cleaning a little different than I normally would, I think. We'll see. Let me get started. So in this box right here, I am going to put non-breakable items that I have. And I could just lay that vase with those metal flowers flat. I could just lay that flat. All right, next I'm going to put in these lightweight uh, pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And again, I don't have to wrap them or anything. They're not breakable. I mean, I could, but I'm just going to drop them in because that's easiest for me. I love this basket, it's so cute. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, that ball's gonna have to wait, all the leaves. And my little breakable um, little squirrel here, I am going to just put him in some wrapping paper. I put him in, and then I fold left over right, and then in, and then just roll him up in the whole paper, like that, and there he is, all safe and sound. He's probably the only thing I have to wrap, because this ball will not fit in here, I don't think. Yeah, no, that ball does not fit, so it's going to have to go in the box with the tall candlesticks there. So, I'm going to put that there. And then all of my little flower pot creations, I'm going to wrap up and flip the camera around. I keep all of the hats with the flower pot creations, that way they're all together when I pull them out. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to take out some of my wrapping. Okay, newspaper, I never wrap stuff directly in because it will rub off on whatever you're wrapping. I just use it as extra stuffing in the corners. Let me go get some more wrapping real quick. Okay, I'm back. I got a whole bunch of wrapping and wrapping these up are very important because I made them a while ago and they have lasted. I think I'll put the hats in last so we can put those over there. So we're going to wrap the bigger pieces first. So first I'm going to start with some bubble wrap. And all I do is place her right there and roll, roll like that. And then I kind of flip her over last minute and tuck everything in. You can add tape if you want. And then because there is, it's a flower cut, I'm going to tuck a lot of wrapping paper in. All right, 
Now I'm gonna put the hats in so they don't get separated. And then I have room to add some bubble, uh, Amazon bubble, air bubble packaging to the top just so if it falls, it won't all tumble and break. So this box and that other box are ready to go out to the garage to be taped. Before I go out to the garage to tape though, I'm gonna go ahead and fold up my, I'm gonna fold up my tablecloths because I will not be needing the fall theme. I just fold them and they actually go into this buffet that the camera is sitting on. Okay, and we did not even hear this year. If we did, I would of course laundry wash these. But because we never ate in here, they just set out. I'll just give them a little dust free shake and just fold them up, which I fold them in half, in half again. Then I have like this long and I fold that in half. And then I'll fold that in half and then in half. And I have a nice fold to go in my buffet drawer. Okay. So this room is, I still have to get a box to put the tall candle holders in. The candy jar will stay because that's like our all the time candy jar. Okay, so I went out in the box to find a box, went out in the garage to find a box for the fall candles, the big fall candlesticks. And I actually, found a box with other, I actually found a box with other breakables in it. So I think I'm gonna transfer. So what I've done is I put all breakables in this box. They're all wrapped really well. And I'll put some bubbles and seal that up. Now this box does not have breakables in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if these candlesticks will fit in this box with this ball. And there we go, it did fit. I'll show you a peek into the box because this box is a lot. So you can see both candlesticks fit. I didn't have to wrap them. They're not gonna move around. And this is all ready, okay? So I have three boxes here that I need to tape up. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then we will clean, oh, you know what? I have more Halloween decor. Hold on, I'm gonna go get the other Halloween decor I have. Okay, so this was some Halloween decor. It's really large that I had that was in the other room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a box to put this in and take it in there by the mantle and put all of, hopefully all of that in one box. But first, before we go do the mantle, we'll put these in a box and then we'll clean this whole area. And then we'll uh, go start the other room. Okay, so I got all the fall decor put away. Yay, because that means Christmas is next. And now I'm going to do my deep clean, which basically in the dining room in this area is mopping, dusting real well, and cleaning the glass in the china cabinet, cleaning the glass in the hall tree, and cleaning the sliding glass doors. So let's get busy. I don't use spray uh, furniture polish, especially on vintage pieces because it builds up a wax and can really dull them down and make them look dingy. So I just use a duster and the top of my china cabinet is not finished so it's a little harder to dust because it's rough wood. Our hall tree is where we keep our masks, so as we're heading out the door, we can just grab one and we never forget. Not that you would really forget anyway, because once you go outside and everybody's wearing them, kind of would be like, uh oh. One of the big things I do when I do clean between changing out decorations is I clean the glass in our uh, sliding glass doors because I like the reflection it gives on the Christmas lights. I like colored lights personally, so the different colors 
really look pretty reflecting that. And at the bottom down here we have clings because my little dog Henry keeps running into the door. Okay, now all we have to do is sweep them off and we'll be done in here. There is no grout to worry about because the tiles are set extremely close together. So I'm going to sweep and mop and then I will be done and I will head into the family room to pack away those fall decorations. So now we're in the family room and I realized later I didn't have the microphone on so we're going to have to do a voiceover. What I'm doing is getting ready to take all these beautiful fall decorations down. I brought in some packing because I thought I was going to wrap up the silver tea service that is actually very non-silver for Halloween. But as I'm sitting here talking to you and getting the box prepared to put the non-breakable stuff in, which is everything on the mantle. Nothing was breakable, nothing had to be wrapped up. I was thinking about the silver service and maybe keeping it out and polishing it for Christmas and how pretty it would look. Later, I show you the inside of the sugar, the little sugar bowl that is with it and it's really, it's really a bright silver, so I decide to try it for Christmas because, you know, I'm all about reusing things multiple holidays. So I'm showing you here that everything is going to fit in this box. Might have to work it in there, but I do eventually get all of the mantle into that box, which is just exciting because I try to limit my boxes, not add to, but maybe even take away from year to year. Most time I go with the same number. But as you can see, there's plenty of room in the box. So the fall letters and the, the, um, the fall letters and the pumpkin will fit in there nicely as will the metal, metal, it's, it's metal, scarecrow. And then of course the banner is just easy to throw in there. I think I get the pumpkins in there, the paper pumpkins as well, maybe not. No, that goes in a different box. So anyway, what I was saying is I'm gonna reuse the silver service for Christmas if I can get it untarnished, because it is really pretty, or I think it will be really pretty. And the white candles that I used for the Halloween decor too, I bought in mind to reuse them for Christmas, maybe Mother's Day, Easter. I wanted to buy a color that I could, even everyday decor, that I could get use out of all year long, basically. If I had bought red, I would have only used them Halloween and Christmas, which would have been fine too. If I'd bought black, I would have only used them at Halloween. So I try to make smart purchases where I get the most for the money out of the item I'm purchasing, especially when it comes to holiday decor items. If I can use them on multiple holidays, that's a big plus. If I can use them on every day, you know, without it being a holiday, that's an even bigger plus. So, okay, this box, I am going to put the Witch's Cauldron and the Paper Pumpkins that I did a video on in here and store those away for another year. I also put some of the items off the tray. As you see, I'm grabbing those now. My flamingo skeleton, the spiders. Now see here, this is where I'm thinking, hmm, I'm gonna put them in there and then I'm like, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna show you the inside of this in a minute. The tray is too big and again, I'm thinking, hey, let's polish it. Let's get some more use out of it. But you know what? I'm going to try a bit. It's not going to fit. So after I get all of this put away, I will start cleaning. And I'm deep cleaning in this room again, too. So that means 
dusting, vacuuming, mopping, doing the mirror over the fireplace. There is a big picture just out of frame right now. I will also clean that. And I have a lot of dusting in this room, so multiple tables. Oh, there's the skull and the skeleton flamingo. I just want you to see the inside of the sugar dish. It is so pretty. I just imagine all the twinkly lights at Christmas. Oh, there's a little rat and some eyeballs. Okay, how pretty is that? If all of that polishes up to look like that, yeah, we've got a winner for Christmas. So anyway, so now I'm gonna finish packing this away, move them out and start my dusting. Oh, there's my candles, multi, multi-use, always good. So I'm gonna start my dusting in just a bit and uh, yeah. Oh yes, I have to sit down and chat about these candles. I really like these candles. If you've never had battery operated candles before, these are really kind of cool and they have a remote, which makes them even nicer. So check them out. They are, to me, they're kind of pricey, but like I said, if I can get multiple uses out of them or everyday use out of them, then it's worth it. I think you can get, it depends on who you buy them from. I'll link a couple below. I think you can get anywhere of three for 15 to six for 29. And like I said, they're a little pricey, but if you can use them all year long, then that's not bad. It's just like, um, well, there I'm putting up. Now all this Halloween decorations like the skull, the witch's cauldron, all of that was really inexpensive because it's a one-time use thing. So I try to get the best possible deal on that that I can. Now under the tray on the table, I had just some black fabric that I had in my craft room and I used it. And that's something if you have fabric, use it to go under things to protect your furniture. Don't go out and just buy a tablecloth for one use unless it's something that you can use multiple times. It's definitely worth saving the money. And if you're not going to use the fabric for sewing anytime soon or a craft, then it's putting it to good use. Okay, so now I've got all the Halloween decorations put away. I'm about to start with my um, dusting. And, oh, see, there's the big picture that I'm going to dust. So I'm going to dust. Okay, so I finished dusting and now I am just wiping down this big picture because that is a lot of glass on there. And now I'm also cleaning the mirror over the fireplace. After I get that all clean, I start to do my sliding glass doors because when I deep clean, this is something I definitely do inside and out. Here I'm getting ready to vacuum and I realized the sound wasn't on and now it is. So now I've put my carpet cleaner down, not carpet cleaner, I've put my carpet freshener down again because the dogs are in here and I'm just getting ready to vacuum it. So we got that all clean. So this room is done. Now I need to do the kitchen. All right, so now I'm gonna sweep and mop the kitchen floor and wipe off the counters and everything. And then it'll be time to mop and we'll head to the bedroom to do a deep clean in there. So if you notice that the crock pot's going, have a roast in there. Now I am not I am not 
not a neat fan personally, but my husband and my dad are. So, we're having roast. And it's actually a very tasty roast. I'll put the recipe below if anybody's interested. It's called a Mississippi pot roast, and it's one package of ranch dressing, some pepperoncini peppers, some butter, some beef broth, and that's it. And put it in a crock pot and let it slow cook. It's really a delicious roast. So, like I said, I will put the recipe below. Deep cleaning, gotta do the windows in the kitchen too. And this is the first place I've been where the um, window seals are dirty. So I will clean those as well. Again, I do the windows when I'm changing out holiday decor because I want the Christmas lights to really have something to twinkle off of and shine. I have to go outside. These are all dirty outside because my husband weed eats and it's dusty in California and not in a lot of it. I guess we have great weather eight months out of the year. room we need to deep clean. It's our bedroom and basically all I have to do in here is sweep, mop, clean the bathroom, and clean the windows. So let's get started so we can finish. Daddy pads it down in here at night in case the babies need to go potty before we get up and go out. Always important to uh, give your puppies a place to go potty, and the bathroom's the perfect spot if they're potty pad trained. That way, if you don't get up at night for some reason, you don't hear them, or maybe you're just so tired you don't want to get up. If they have a potty pad place in the bathroom to go, then there's no stress, which is great for you and them because, you know, they're just animals, and when they have to go, they have to go. Just putting up my laundry from yesterday because I always hang up uh, my shirts that I wear. That way they just, I think, last longer. Oh, don't worry. We're going to get ready to do a closet clean out soon, soon, soon. We have a closet remodel coming. So if you like a uh, closet clean out, if you like closet organizations, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're in the bathroom. I just wanted to show you it's, oops, sorry. It's not that dirty. So when I clean it, you'll see what I'm cleaning. It's like I said, it's not that dirty at all. This one. Empty the dog bowl and kind of rinse it out. We have very calcified water here, so the dog bowl just gets a little, you know, of a buildup on it if they don't drink it that much, that fast. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the beds. First, I'm gonna make my husband's bed. And if you haven't watched any of my videos before in the bedroom, I talk about why we have twin beds. Um, I have a severe pain disease, CRPS, and my husband has asthma, and we both need to be able to move up and down. And also we have um, twin beds because he just sleeps like a crazy person. And it's nice because of my pain not to get hit constantly. So the twin beds serve us well. He just sleeps with, plus he's very hot natured, and he sleeps with just a sheet and a blanket on his bed, which makes picking it up very easy. But for me, I sleep with a blanket, a sheet, and a comforter. So, and then my bed over here. And I didn't get our beds made this morning because 
when you're running late, even though, you know, you work from home, you get up late and you don't have to take the time to tidy up the beds in me. So, tidy them up now real quick while we're waiting on the floors to dry and then I will go super clean. We're doing deep cleaning, which means I'm doing windows today. So I um, will just do my bedroom window and our, our closet windows, our closet doors, I guess, not windows, our closet mirrors. And then I am done. And that means that I can start decorating for the holiday, for my next holiday, my family's, which is Christmas. What do you decorate for after fall? If you decorate for fall, Thanksgiving, what do you decorate for after? I would love to see your pictures down below in the comments, so be sure and paste them. Paste them. Be sure and post them down below. Okay, I'm gonna move the mop things out of the way. As far as what I clean with, I mean, I would love to clean with maybe less chemical products. But, you know, one, they have to be easy for me because, again, my CRPS. So, something I can grab and just use, not have to mix up. Now, if there's something that would stay stable, um, you know, if I mixed it and it wouldn't separate or, or anything where I could just grab it and use it multiple times in a month, that would be great. So, if you have any ideas, suggestions, something you use please post down below because I would love to know. Okay. Uh, and you can't reach the center. You just kind of push aside and go. And then I'm gonna run outside and film, uh, film. I'm gonna run outside and clean the other side of all of this, because the other side's actually the dirtier side, because my husband washes, you know, the plant, waters the plants, and the windows get dirty. So, I'm going to be right back. The last deep cleaning thing to do in my bedroom are these massive closet doors. And that's it. My house is deep cleaned. Fall decorations are put away. And we're ready for Christmas. I'll see you in a few days to start that. Thanks for being here, guys. Bye.